All right, guys, I'm back, and this is this is the last meme that I have. Um, it's probably the mo the nicest one I've seen. I haven't used this one at all. I haven't even clicked on it yet, but this is the one that I just found. It's actually pretty nice. It's called Rain. If you guys like gray, then this is your color. It even matches my shirt, as you can see. <laughs> Being stupid here, but um. You have your basic things. You got your you got your uh, phone. You got messages. You have your Safari. It looks kind of weird. It looks like a Google Chrome icon. It's just gray. The one right here. You have your Safari. Right there. You have your messages. You have your iPod or music. And apparently this is this little widget right here. You. Sorry about that. You click it, and there's your weather, and you can click things like here. It brings up. Hold up. Turn it towards me real quick. Yeah, there's not a lot of. There's, they don't put like all the apps in here for some odd reason, but you click on it, and like one app pops up. But you click out of that. All right, guys. Um, and then hates Claire. Let's see. Then, pretty much, you uh, click over here. You have Facebook or Twitter, and. I forgot to show you guys this. If you scroll, you have this. If you scroll this way, you have um, city notes and maps. And oh, that's interesting. Yeah, this is actually pretty interesting. I just noticed what you can do with this theme. You, there's a little dot. There's a little dot right there. You click it, everything moves over from the bottom, and you click one of these, and that's not the one you click on, that's the one right here. It brings up all of your applications, and they are customized too. It's more of a kind of Android style based edits on your icons. It's actually pretty nice, as you can see. Yes, I have two text plus, one's the gold and one's the basic. But, um, there you go. And you click it again to get out of it. Yeah. This seems actually pretty nice. It's not that bad. I mean, if this is probably my favorite one, but I'll show you guys my number one. It, my the theme that I'm currently using it beats every theme. I I've showed you guys in the last video and. It's just my favorite theme, period. I love it so much, and it's just the best theme that I've had, yes. Let's see. It's the Galaxy S theme. Galaxy S2. It's my favorite theme. I don't... I don't really change it. Sorry if you can hear Family Guy in the background. <laughs> I forgot to turn the thing down, but it's whatever. But, um... This is my favorite one. I'd rather choose this one over anyone. I recommend this to all of my users. It's amazing. I love it so much. It's just the best theme that there's out, that I've seen out there yet. Besides the one theme, I believe it's iNav HD. But as I said in my last video, it does not work on my iDevice. I don't know why. But um, I wanted to show you guys something. Um, you can change the wallpaper that I showed you guys this in the last video also. You just scroll through. My favorite one is this one. Wait, I'm lying to you guys, that is not my favorite one. It's this one. There you go. And widgets. Pull up. Click on it. 
you can... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Local churchgoer and junior Christian soldier Meg Griffin has identified the atheist as Brian Griffin of Spooner Street. Here's the reaction from City Hall. Yeah, I just messed it up. The thing is gone. A... I did No, not anything more. Hey, how the hell could you do something like this? If a man had ears, let him hear, Brian. All right, what's, what's the worst that could happen? This is the 21st century. Yeah, um, I moved it and I can't get it back, but the easy way is just to click out. Oh, and it stayed like that, damn it. Um, yeah, I'm going into a different theme. The first theme that I showed you guys. Only because it wants to be retarded and not work, so I will give me a second. I'm trying to fix this. But for some odd reason, it doesn't want to go back. Okay, I get if if you move the widgets, it, it usually goes to the bottom of the corner, and it's very bothersome. But um. Yeah, guys, this one's the best one of all. You can customize your apps and put them exactly where you want them. Everything about this theme is just amazing. It has no lags at all. Some, but make sure if you have multitasking on that you like double tap and you back out of oh my bad. you back out of these apps that are on the bottom here because that one slows down your device and when you're in dream board that will slow down your eye device if you guys are sitting there using the dream board theme while you have all those things running in the background that's just going to slow down your device drastically and then probably going to freeze because a few times i've been listening to music and then it just stopped because i have so many things running in the background my iphone 4 could not handle it so i was like what the hell happened and then i tried listening to music again and it messed up again so closed out the apps and stuff and then it finally worked so my recommendation back out of the shit that you're in make sure you only have one or two apps running in the background if you do want to save memory but if you want um a tweak sp settings that's one of the most basic tweaks out there that's the swipe so you can clear your ram i'll show you guys to get it in this next clip i'll see you i'll be right back you guys Alright you guys, I'm back. I just wanted to show you guys that I'm about to install SB Settings. It's one of the most basic apps out there and you guys can get it for free. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to install any repos or anything. It just comes in the big boss when you first jailbreak. If you guys have your iOS device jailbroken, then you can get this. No, you can't get it on non-jailbroken devices. Are you stupid? That's one of the most common questions from people out there. Can you get this stuff if you're not jailbroken? No, you cannot get this stuff if you are not jailbroken. It's common sense. Apple does not want you to have this kind of stuff. But it has just finished installing, so I'm going to click Respring. Um, yeah, my Resprings are actually extremely fast. I just clicked Respring like maybe five seconds ago, and it's already done. And I just unlock my screen. There you go. And it's asking me. It's telling me my system version is too new. On 5.1, activator does not work. It stays on your device, but it like some features work, but not all of them. But if you swipe to the left, you have your SP settings. Here you go. And the main one you want to use is go into processes and click free up memory. And then it frees it up. And hold on, wait. Oh no, that's gonna focus. You're right, Brian. You're right. Look all the way at the bottom. It says available memory. It says I have 290 MB. It's actually a lot for download speeds. That's pretty damn good but yeah that's um pretty much all i have to show you guys for today that's 
just spot the themes and the SP settings because you're probably going to need that if you really want your memory freed up and you want your device running as fast as possible. I mean, unless you guys want to get speed intensifier, which I really don't recommend anymore because 5.1 it probably won't work because they haven't updated all their tweaks yet. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today. This is Young Money Tweet Seven here, and I'm. I'm going to see you guys later. If you guys have any more requests on any themes, if you liked any of them and you'd like to have more, then just simply comment or send me an inbox message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Again, this is YoungMan287 here and I'll see you guys later. Peace.